Howdy folks and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 with the Total War mod. So, uh, before going to this into this episode, um, I just wanted to mention that um, since I had a look at, at this, at this uh, statistics of my past videos and I noticed that people don't really like long videos, um, I'm gonna cut these into very small episodes of, let's say, maximum 10 minutes. Uh, because, yeah, I do care about my audience, and if I see that the people drop after 4 minutes, it's it's pointless to make longer episodes of uh, 15, 20, or even half an hour um, of time. So, briefly, in this episode, I would like to rearrange and reorganize the entire um, Royal Navy, and how I plan to do that, well, uh, it's very easy, I need to uh, select one by one all of these uh, fleets and merge them into one because I want to have them all uh, all here uh, in Newcastle uh, and I want to reorganize my fleet in order to have uh, let's say a much uh, simpler composition uh, with specific task forces devoted to the um, security of my supply convoys as well as in uh, hunting down and sinking enemy uh, ships. Um, since we're here, very briefly, research. Uh, the, the, the UK starts with a very advanced... Um, uh, it's called the engineering technology and also the, the um, in industrial tech. They are quite um, in good shape, I must say. I'm gonna invest in, in the fortifications because I plan, as I, as I mentioned in the previous um, episode, I plan to uh, fortify myself at El Alamein. So we need to uh, build fortifications. Uh, sniper team, yes. Um, yeah, absolutely. Anything else? I think I may go again into the Navy at this point, since I don't see anything else that can be done. Or... Um, oh! Signal companies, yes, that's, uh, that's a must. And since I'm here, the, the veteran of my channel knows me. Know me. Uh, that I like to build up, first of all, my civilian... Um, industry in those provinces that have the highest amount of um, infrastructure On it. and okay so Guns. I plan to move Ready. some units here into mainland UK while everyone else here Ready. will Form. Actually, these are the island garrisons, and these are Ready to move. assigned to the UK army. While actually, no, let's move them here Guns. in Africa. They will, they will form the say the the backbone of the troops that will have Listen the up. duty of annihilating the Italians. Ready? And, yep. Okay, that's it. Um. Let's do this. I need fighters. And I need close air support. Quite a, lot of, a lot of it, actually. Let's see what's missing in the equipment. Oh, pack artillery. Uh, we need pack artillery. Basic pack artillery. And I also want to invest in uh, medium artillery for uh, the very same reasons that I explained in my um, tutorial template, Ready, basically. And, oh! I think, yeah, these guys, I just forgot them. All in! Ready! Oh, I even forgot about these guys. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just stop it here for a moment, and because uh, I know that those troops will not 
um, sail back to Britain so I'm gonna pause it here and then with the magic power of editing I'll be back in one second alright I'm back and here we are now it's time to uh, look at our naval production we can set everything to the um, highest uh, level in terms of dockyard assignment and we may even start to make some convoys because I, I think we will need them yeah I must say 300 more convoys should do it and okay let me just get something from the United States something from oh the Soviet Union this time they are my friends and we still have yeah 16 it's it's okay and okay so I will just wait until I have all of my fleets um, in Newcastle and then I will proceed with the reorganization of the Royal Navy and let's see you guys again in one second and I'm back with the magic power of editing. So as you can see, I have um, deeply reorganized my Royal Navy um, into several um, fleets. So bear in mind, this is my very first time playing with the UK, messing up with the Royal Navy. So um, if you have any experience, if you think that my um, let's say composition of the fleet makes no sense, um, please let me know in the comments below because I'm really in dire need of help uh, for this, um, let's say, attempt in making an historical campaign with the United Kingdom. So, I divided the Royal Navy into four uh, fleets. The, the first one is the Home Command, uh, even though I think I will rename it into something else. And um, it consists of four task forces. These task forces, and namely the Home Command, um, will be tasked of hunting down um, enemy surface fleets, and I think maybe uh, the Japanese fleet. So I did my best to keep everything as balanced as possible, and um, everything revolves around having one aircraft carrier. Actually, I can open it. Exactly. One fleet carrier, three battleships, six light cruisers, and 15 uh, destroyers. Uh, because I think that it's quite important to have the firepower of the battleships as well as the um, screening capacity of the light, cru light cruisers and the destroyers. The submarine fleet is very, uh, let's say, uh, uh, standard. I have uh, groups of five uh, submarines, so that's quite, um, um, let's say, traditional, I would say. Uh, the cruiser group. The cruiser group contains three fleets, or better, the three cruiser divisions, consisting each of uh, one battle cruiser, one uh, five heavy, heavy cruisers, and eight um, destroyers. I may bring them up to ten because I still have plenty of them in the reserve fleet. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's up to you guys to, to tell me if this uh, fleet makes sense or <laughs> if it does not. And last but not least, I also have the escort fleet. Uh, I'm planning to add at least two or even three more of these fleets. And as the name says, these fleets will be tasked of um, escorting my convoys all around the globe. And each of these, um, say, group consists of two light cruisers and 12 destroyers. I may change the destroyer. Uh, let's say composition because I had a look at, at these and the EFGH class of destroyers they, um, they, they look quite generic for me they are like the, the, the jack of all trades like they have um, the uh, depth charges they have the torpedoes they they're missing the um, ASDIC that's Ah, uh, that's quite important actually. I need to get Aztecs and uh, they have the fire control. I may put... Uh, I can't have two sonars. Um, yeah, I think it's fine. 
to keep the fire control, especially for the... Uh, I think it also helps for the anti-aircraft, right? Uh, yeah, anti-air plus 10%. Um, so I, I may keep it um, here. And I, um, I may just copy this template and make um, a proper escort um, destroyer by having two um, depth charges um, here. Uh, but again, I think uh, this will come uh, in the near uh, future. And uh, last but not least, I also have my reserve fleet in which I kept all the ships that I did not use um, at the moment. Which are, um, yeah, three submarines, uh, 12 destroyers, one um, heavy cruiser and one uh, light. Carrier. I was just also playing around with the uh, ship designer and I think where is that? Yeah, in the light cruisers. I realize I do have some um, mine layers here and I think I may just again uh, change the, the symbol of this into uh, this one because I, I'm afraid a few um, the uh, light cruisers may have oh I think I, I don't have them yet uh, but still um, it's good for me to uh, wait I, oh, I didn't save um, yeah so I was saying it's good to to have specific symbols because I realized I have I had one of the mine layers uh, assigned uh, here and um, yeah, that's not really good. And uh, what else? I think that's that's all for this episode. I may actually exercise briefly my uh, Royal Navy. Just oh god, I have to do it manually. Okay, anyway. And um, yeah, I think that that's it for this episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And stay tuned for the next one, which will cover the entire 1936 and the preparation of the United Kingdom for the upcoming conflict. Until then, my friends, um, stay safe, stay tuned, stay healthy, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next episode.